Time for another Throwback Thursday here on KSAP News at 9. And tonight we're talking about a historic San Antonio community theater, the Woodlawn. RJ Marquez tells us that even though it is now a performance venue for local artists, it actually was once a movie theater. In August 1945, the Woodlawn opened as a movie theater in San Antonio's famed Deco District. John Eberson designed the venue, which was the first of its kind, a neighborhood theater with lavish, elegant fixtures and an iconic marquee. The Woodlawn enjoyed early success, but made its mark on the national stage in 1960 when it was chosen to host the premiere of John Wayne's film, The Alamo. The owners at the time were actually the ones that believed in um, the movie and they were able to purchase a new film projector for the actual filming of the movie. The theater showed movies through the decades and was a beacon of the community. It hit rough times in the late 70s and shut down, but it didn't stay closed for too long. Acting groups began to perform at the Woodlawn. It also held a series of concerts. In 2006, it officially became a performing arts venue. The theater now hosts six main stage musicals per year. A diverse group of volunteer actors, performers, musicians, and stage technicians work to bring the Woodlawn to life. They're all uh, teachers, lawyers, doctors, uh, fa families that have normal day jobs, um, and then in the evening they come and do what's passionate for them and put on a show for the community. Now a designated historical landmark, the Woodlawn has bridged the gap from its early days as a prestigious movie house to San Antonio's community theater. For them to walk into the, the space and say, oh, I remember that, oh, oh, that's new, or oh, what do you have coming up on the schedule? So it's just creating a lot of great buzz and a lot of memories. Throwback Thursday, just one of the series that we feature exclusively here on KSAT News at 9. Here's a lineup of some of the other segments we have. Tune in tomorrow for our wrap-up of this week's biggest local stories in the week in 210. We'll be right back.